I'm presenting uh, our, uh, our study about the attitudes and effects of application of school students' classroom mass, uh, smart home use in the Spanish Castilla and Rio regions. Um, my student, Alejandro, <coughs> he has found a job, so I'm very delighted for him, so that's why he excused himself that he can be here. But, um, Give me my regards to him. Nowadays, uh, the latest, one of the latest dilemma that uh, educators and the teachers in school they are facing is whether to include smartphone use in their syllabus for students to be allowed to use smartphone in classroom. So it brings a lot of controversial opinions. The reason for those who support smartphone use, the reason is smartphone overcome the less ICT applications that enable user, wider user, not just students, to open up to new form of access to knowledge and information networks. Anytime, especially this is important, anytime and anywhere because of its convenience. And this idea or this reason really leads them to think that smartphone provides lots of possibility for teaching methods and innovation that favor learning process. On the other hand, there's a group of educators they are determinedly against the smartphone to be allowed in the classroom, the reason is they regard a smartphone as a bothering a nuisance, source of destruction and cheating and examination if allowed in classroom. So the small size, the hand size of smartphone encourages texting under the table, under the desk, serving and other activities that are unrelated to education. On the other hand, they also support or they also sustain and argue that, that technology do not improve the academic performance that the smartphone and other devices like computers or like uh, iPad cannot replace the ability of teachers to engage students who are easily distracted. So they strongly against it and they want to start a uh, school to establish the restriction Restrict, uh, restriction policy that ban uh, classroom to be um, to, uh, to be a place to use the smartphone. But happily, we have another that serve you that uh, researchers say or they, they 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 support this idea that younger generation of teachers they are digital native. They were born, they grew up with the digital devices, uh, younger, so all of you, you are younger generation. So they feel absolutely comfortable using smartphone. It's a natural way of living. So it's, they feel so comfortable. This leads them to favor, the younger teachers are prone to favor introducing innovative teaching methods based on M learning or sort of mobile learning that you can move everywhere. So this our study, in this case, in this study, our main interest is very straightforward, is our interest was or are to know what are students themselves attitudes towards smartphone in classroom. Their own opinion, not the teachers, and not the, not the, not the educators, and the decision makers' opinion, but their opinion. The smartphone use improves students' academic performance. This is more objective. And with these ideas in mind, we went on to establish some exploratory hypothesis. I'm not glad to be the last one to 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 to, to for this. <laughs> Presentation because the Professor Igakwa, uh, Isabel, and uh, all the other uh, researchers they have 
uh, explain that how to establish this uh, hypothesis with a very complicated drawing. So I'm not going to repeat it. So I want to make a long story short. So first, uh, hypothesis was or is students students are more in favor of the restriction attitudes to smartphone in classroom. That means a negative, strong, uh, strong negative attitude towards. Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, more attitude, more positive. Uh, they favor to use smartphone in classroom. We use smartphone more intensively for their learning purposes. And the more intensive smartphone use for learning purposes also make students to get involved actively in school activity. And more intensive, oh, this is the, 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 the sequence, the sequence of the, the, the same hypothesis. More intensive use of smartphone in this student for learning purposes. They will achieve better academic performance and also higher satisfaction with studies. Hypothesis number three, we established that the younger student using smartphone more intensively for learning purposes will achieve a higher academic performance outcome than the other, the, the elder one, the elder student with a, a, a more ages. So we went on to design a questionnaire with uh, 49 items. I'm not going to, to say how we validated it because the validation of the skills uh, is it's explained very, very thoroughly and we use the same, more or less the same, same, same methods. And these are 49 items that we try to get information about the attitudes, the students' the attitudes towards smartphone use in the classroom, their participation in school activities, and their habits or how frequent, how frequent or how, what's the intensity they use uh, smartphone for learning purposes. And also their self-assessment for satisfaction uh, with uh, school studies. And uh, then we have uh, an, uh, several items to get the information about their social demographic data. The last one is uh, quite a tough because we ask them to be honest, to give us their academic report that average, average, the average academic grade, and it's uh, they are they have been quite uh, easy or quite honest to, 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 to give us this this very personal information. 300, more than 300 vocational, uh, vocational, vocational school students uh, responded to this questionnaire. And among these uh, 300 uh, students, 98% are smartphone owners. So it's uh, quite okay for this uh, sample. And we have obtained some results that we can answer the hypothesis. The first hypothesis said students showing more positive attitudes towards smartphone use in classroom will also use it more intensively for learning purposes. And the result is like this. Favor, favor restrictive policy means negative. So that the result showed that, that the contrary the, the negative. So this is a negative if they have a negative attitude toward smartphone in classroom, the correlation shows negative correlation, and they are statistically um, significant. When they complain a lot about the school uh, classmates using smartphone, that is very noisy. The the, the ring, the phone ring, is very bothering. So also, they don't use it for class, class network, so it makes sense, okay? The other, uh, the other result respond, or respond to this hypothesis. Student uses smartphone more intensively for learning purposes will be more highly engaged in school activities. 
So the research showed a significant positive association between the single factor of student engagement. This is this is, this factor is uh, from uh, we 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 draw like one 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 factor, one factor with the travel original items are the corn bucket and this um, alpha point seventy or it's, it's not a very um, street, but it's okay for this exploratory study. So students' engagement and their smartphone use for education are correlated positively, and uh, classmate networking also, and also correlated with communication with the teachers. On the other hand, we run the uh, correlation analysis using sales assessment about a group in, if they are happy with the uh, growth integration, and uh, if they are happy with the help from teacher, doubts solved by teacher. To our surprise, to our surprise, wait, sorry, we get this messaging with teachers, and doubts solved by teacher is negative. Although it's not, uh, it's uh, not significant, but it's quite uh, uh, quite uh, catch our attention. I mean, okay. okay. The side uh, hypothesis of uh, number two: student use of smartphone more intensively for learning purposes will achieve better academic performance and show higher satisfaction with their study. Again, we have a. Uh, this result that this hypothesis was not supported because we see the more intensively they use the smartphone, the, uh, the, 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 the association or the correlation is a negative with an average rate or greater rating. Okay, so here is a point. Uh, Quite a, um, not surprise the word, but it's quite caught our attention. We went on to check this hypothesis. Hypothesis: Younger students use smartphone more intensively for learning purposes. They all you know, will show higher academic performance outcomes. That hypothesis was not supported because we found out that smartphone use in the classroom that's the X seem to produce a negative effect on academic performance in general. And age has a significantly positive effect on elder students' academic performance. So now we are seeing, we are examining the interaction between age and the use of a, of a, of a, of a smartphone in the classroom. Again, we have a negative, significant negative um, effects. In this uh, graphic, we can um, see better the elder student perform a better learning ability when less, uh, when less, this is the less, this is more, they use less, that is more. When they use a less a smartphone in the classroom, they seem to get better. Um, better academic performance. While they use a little bit more, and their academic performance um, seems to reduce. But an opposite effect is also the younger students. The young student, when they use a more intensively smartphone at class, it seems that they have a, they improve slightly a little bit. Mm -hmm. They improve a little bit their 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 academic achievement, although this effect is not statistically significant. Now we went out to examine the direct effect by drawing this 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 uh, this, uh, this diagram. First, a significant positive effect of a student age on their attitude towards school restriction policy. So here we can see elder students seem to favor that school ban, that school 
established restrictive policy against uh, smartphone use. The second direct effect, students age indicates a significant positive effect on their self-engagement and learning process in activity, learned activity uh, and school activities. Then the third uh, effect, direct effect, I mean positive attitude to restrictive policy with a significant effect on academic performance. Okay. That is quite um, amazing. Also, they are engaged also with restricting policy um, also has an effect on their engagement but we know that statistical significant. Self-engagement has positive effects <coughs> on academic performance and academic performance. However, it is not proved to be significant. And finally, again, elder age produces a significant positive effect on students' academic performance. Then, uh, let's go through the indirect effects. So here we have in, first indirect effect, student age on academic performance through restriction. Mm, it is significant. Then the second indirect effect, student age on um, academic performance through self-engagement doesn't seem to be statistically significant. The third indirect effect of students' age on academic performance through restriction and self-engagement is <coughs> influence in serials, in serial, which in turn influence academic performance with a no significant, with a no uh, statistical significance. The latest, the total indirect effect, again showing a serial, the Age seems to be with all the other uh, side effects seem to be um, significant. So we draw one conclusion. I think this is one conclusion. Student age in the present state study has proved to be significant predicting variable that determines attitudes towards smartphone uh, smartphone use in the classroom. The path analysis outcome indicated that the elder students group with a more supportive attitude towards school, restrictive policy for smartphone use in the classroom achieve a better academic performance. The younger students group appear to improve slightly their academic performance while increasing smartphone use intensity in classroom. However, this effect does not prove to be significant or is not consistent. So the finding reveals a certain existing generation barrier that may prevent smartphone application for becoming innovative teaching learning tools for education goals, especially in the vocation schools in Spanish, Castilla and Leon area. And uh, that's all.